As you're aware, mediation is a voluntary process. If the party really doesn't want to engage, and they don't have to. Having said that, the new court procedure provides that everybody has to attend a mediation information assessment meeting before they can progress with a court application. At court, if you still really want to pursue mediation and the other party won't, you can actually ask the judge to make a direction that the parties have to attend mediation properly. So that might be a recourse. If, however, the other party still won't engage properly with mediation, as long as the mediator will say this case is not suitable for mediation, then ultimately it will be up to the judge to put in place the timetables so the matter is eventually resolved. And do not believe that just because you've got proceedings in the court and a court timetable that you will still not settle matters away from the court arena. Your solicitors, or if you're representing yourself, should be working away in the background and should still try to find a resolution away from the court. In fact, courts really like it if you turn up with an agreement on the day of a hearing or before a hearing and ask them to approve it. So don't believe that just because there is court proceedings in place that you will not resolve matters. There is a lot of people actually find the pressure of going to court to be a lot more traumatic and stressful than they realise and are very keen to settle when they get to court or before it. I, mean, I think that offering fixed fee mediation is essential because if you know what you are paying from the outset of a matter, then you're more likely to engage in it and put the cost to one side and just focus on it. It is important so that people know that their legal costs are not going to get out of control and it's also important because then it generally gives a structure to how many sessions you need in which to resolve matters and it explains that as you go through it the issues tend to sort of eventually come to a conclusion. But I do think it's very important that people have a clear understanding of the cost from the outset. One of the reasons that I set it up is one of the standard questions I'm asked whether as a solicitor or a mediator is how much is it going to cost. Now, when you are engaged as a solicitor, that's much harder to answer because it depends on how the case develops. If people reach agreement very quickly, your costs are going to be a lot less. If it goes all the way to contested final hearings, it could be in the thousands. With mediation, I want to be able to actually give a very clear indication from the outset what it was going to cost. And also it means that we can allow people who are on limited budgets to engage. There's been a great slash in legal aid um, contributions from the government and by actually giving people the opportunity to know what they're going to be spending and know that they can afford it, or at least afford two or three sessions so they can at least attempt it, that gives people, I hope, peace of mind.